Hello all, I asked the Google that show me the best chess rivalry between two Russian grandmasters and it gave me this game. Uh, this game was played between Mikhail Dahl vs Mikhail Botvinnik. They, bo they were both from Russia and this is one of the best chess games uh, as per the Google. So Mikhail Dahl started the game playing as white and he made his first move with the e4 pawn, a uh, most standard opening. Uh, a king pawn opening. So the Mikhail Bordwinik playing as black responded with the move e6. So the first and last Bordwinik employs the French in the match. In future games, he preferred the Karo Khan and generally achieved good position with this. So after going for uh, from this pawn, we can say that Bordwinik started the game and he wants to go for the e6. Mikhail responded with d4. Control trying to control the center and Baldwinic with the d5. So, knight to c3, Mikhail was ready to exchange the pieces, the pawn in, in the opening, and bishop to b4. So, here we can say the winner variation of the frame defense was in the position one of the most strategically unbalanced opening there. So, in hindsight, probably not a great chance against the hyper do dynamic tower. So, the French is good, but Mikhail played with e5, trying to control the center as much as possible. So, c5 pawn, another great move by Bort winning. Here, now it can just break the center of pawns of the Mikhail tower. So a3 was played by Mikhail Tar attacking the attacking this bishop. And now here the bishop has two options: either to take this knight or to go back. And in the game, Bordwinik responded by taking the pawn c3. So uh, giving a check, and instead just what if uh, uh, black. Instead of just taking the pawn, would have moved is a5. So the Armenian variation is playful also, and indeed Bordwinik played this move a few times in the matches versus same as law. So this game, he knows what he is playing. So instead of just taking back, he played the move bishop takes c3. C and at this stage, Mikhail Tal started uh, played the move. B takes c3. So black has departed with his dark squared bishop, leaving the dark squares around his king potentially very weak. We can Im we can imagine how strong white dark square bishop could end could end up being, or how annoying a knight landing on d6 might be. On the plus side, he has caused a structural weakness in the white position. So yes, now white has this pawn and these pawns are blocking each other. So we are now in a bit of a middle here. So it's at this stage it's not so tough. So let's head toward the next move which was played. Queen to c7, setting up the threats involving c takes d4, queen uh, c4, c3 plus. In some lines the queen also defends g7 after the f pawn moves. So another great move by Mikhail Dahl, which was a g4, queen to g4, said so the most direct move aiming to take advantage of the absence of the dark squared bishop. Portvini responded with f5. So at this stage, what if instead of just making this pawn why could I just made the move knight to e7? Transposes black the poisonous pawn variation. So anyway, uh, queen goes back to g3 and knight to e7 a sacrifice. Sure. So, it's, so the queen takes g7. Uh, 
रूप टू जी एट क्विंटेक्स जी एच सेवन इन द क्विंटेक्स डी फोर किंग मूव टू डी वन सो और ड्रामेटिक आइडिया अवॉइडिंग द फोर वन सी थ्री एंड कीपिंग फ्री दी ऑप्शन नाउ डिवेलपिंग द नाइट टू एफ थ्री सो बिशप टू डी सेवन क्वीन टू एच फाइव टॉल इवेल्यूअर्स द क्वीन एंड टेम्पो एंड बॉर्ड विनिंग प्लेयर्स नाइट टू जी सिक्स एंड अटैकिंग एंड सेविंग फ्रॉम द चेक नाइट वी टू डी थ्री सो बॉर्ड विनिंग गिव्स अप एन अदर पॉन टू ट्राई एंड वी कन द वाइट किंग सी टेक्स डी थ्री बिशप टू ए फोर अ गुड चेक King has to move back. So, king to e one was moved, and queen takes e five. So, Bordvinik understandably takes back one of the two pawns defeat, but this cost time. So, Mikhail Tal played uh, bishop to g five, keeping the black king in the middle, and black responded with knight to c six. D four. And queen to c for seven. H for typically with this move, this is the we can say the best move. Typical tall white prepares to develop the rook to h three after all white can no longer castle. White has a large advantage here, despite the king being in the center and no longer able to castle. An extra pawn for starters, the bishop pair dangerous pass h pawn in the end game, and black has. We can dot square. Black needs to get at the white king, but it's easy at the moment, and the black king is stuck in the center as well. E five, trying to counterplay when white responded with rook to h three. This move also uh, defends c three as black was threatening. E takes d four. So queen to s seven. D takes e five. Queen uh, knight takes e5 and rook to uh, e e3 centralization and pinning this knight or uh, to the king. So queen to d7 force black had to escape the pin and rook to b1. So rooks so as you know rooks belong on the a on the open file b6. And knight to f4. So freeing up the bishop and centralizing the knight. Uh, rook to a8. A rook to b4. A good move. Tall use of rook is the game is so instructive. This is how we have to play if we cannot castle. The rook always had to jump in front of the pawn chain to access open file. So mark my word. This is one of the best game. Bishop to c6. Queen ball goes back to d1. So the queen returns, having some completed her job. It is a uh, picture cue that the white king and the queen have returned to their original square. So knight takes f4, rook takes f4, g6, attacking the rook, and rook goes back to d4. Rook to e3. Pawn takes e3. So the pawn provides some extra protection for the king. Black played king to c7, c4. So relentless, all the white pieces with contribute to the attack. Or no, then black plays d takes c4, bishop to c4, uh, queen to g7, and bishop takes g8. So the bishop enters the game and immediately win the matchup. Queen takes the bishop and h5. So the game uh, at this stage, game reaches to the score of one by one to zero. Black resigns, and Mikhail Tal came and the came as the victorious, and the Mikhail Portman lost the game. And this was all for today. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so. Much.